An Oklahoma man vacationing on Panama City Beach drowned in the Gulf. This happened yesterday afternoon right behind Sharky's restaurant. As News 13's Heather Basley tells us, beach safety officials say that there's only so much they can do to educate visitors about the dangers. Panama City Beach rescue lifeguards pulled a 19 year old tourist from Oklahoma out of the surf Thursday afternoon. Fire Chief Ray Morgan says he was swimming under single red flags conditions. Two individuals entered the water and went a little farther out than they should have. They got separated and couldn't find each other. One person came into shore, notified and called 911. And when our lifeguards arrived on scene, they found the individual in the surf line. They were able to pull him to shore. Uh, start CPR, initiate advanced life support procedures, and uh, unfortunately he succumbed to his uh, injuries, which was drowning. Shortly after the incident, fire rescue changed the flags to double red, closing the water to swimmers. Some beachgoers say they didn't need the flags to tell them to stay on shore. Uh, stay out of the water. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's, it, what, what I've seen the past few days, the water gets a little rough and uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to get caught up in it. While many still want to enjoy the water, the flag warnings are having an impact. It kind of puts you on guard, you know, that safety, of course, that's an accident that happened. It, it alerts you to be more, you know, careful of your surroundings and, the, you know, the people in the water and stuff like that. In Panama City, Heather Basley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Uh, the, um... You can receive uh, Panama City Beach Fire and Rescue updates on beach conditions just by texting this number 888 777.